So this is our first time meeting like in like three-dimensional world. In real life. And yet I feel like I've known her for a thousand years. So for the last three years, we've been on each other's shows. It's so exciting. We're here in Persephone, New Jersey. So she says to me, she says, you know what? I'm going to be kind of close to you. Well, it's about two hours away, but it's so <laughs> worth it. So worth it. Closer than so, L.A. <laughs> closer than L.A. But I am going to come out to L.A. and I am going to play pickleball with you. Pickle oh, I actually bought new tennis shoes so I can play. I have a pickleball, uh, was it a racket or paddle? Okay. You wouldn't know. I know. I'm going to kick her butt. <laughs> You're totally going to kick my butt. You have like five years of experience on me. So tell us about why you're here at Chiller Theater. What a fun event. This is so fun. This is uh, my third autograph convention. And I've gone to two in L.A., the Hollywood autograph convention. This one's at Chiller. And it's the first time um, I've gone to a three-day autograph convention. And for me, it's an opportunity to meet my fans, my followers, and people who um, appreciate my work. And I just think it's really important to like look in their eyes and shake their hand and say, thank you. And um, as much as they're excited to meet me, I'm excited to meet them. Because listen, without your fans and followers, we would not be employed. Yeah. You know, and I don't. I take. I don't take that lightly. I mean, I really. It really means a lot to me. So. Um, <laughs> so. Is there anybody that you're fangirling over? Because I read the list of the people that are here, and Didi, it's extraordinary. Have you got to, like, take a lunch break or anything and meet somebody you wanted to meet? Um. Not yet. Not yet. I actually kind. Of, I, this is so me. You know me. I get off the plane and I just kind of like showed up and I'm like, where do I go? What's happening? And then I saw the flyer and I went, oh, there's a lot of people here. The last one I went to, William Shatner was there. And I'm a huge paranormal supernatural enthusiast. And he has that show called The, uh, the Un Unexplained. And um, I literally became like a little girl and I was like, hi William, my name's Edie Pfeiffer, it's really nice to meet you. And he's like, oh, nice to meet you too, honey. And he looks down at his phone and then I go, I'm David E. Kelly's sister-in-law. <laughs> and he goes, oh, David, sit down. And then I got his attention. I had to pull out the family card. You know what? Sometimes you got to play the cards that you're in your deck, right? I want to ask him, do you believe? Because I believe. And then I didn't. We talked about David and fishing. It was cool, too, that he got to go up, you know, in that vessel. That's really exciting. Went up into space. See, to me, that's really, you know me. I'm so into all that kind of stuff. But I, did, I was too chicken to ask him anything other than, um, it's so nice to meet you. I'm a huge fan. And I became like a little girl. <laughs> we all do that. You know, like, I remember when I interviewed Tony Bennett, too, and I looked at his blue eyes, and, you know, he recently passed. And I'm never going to forget that moment of what it felt like to have someone in the three-dimensional world. And how lucky are we? Because it, it's, it's for us. Well, like today, today, wait. Texting buddies, and today she's a physical person. That's me. I know. I was it's like, so cool. I didn't know if you were going to show up eight feet tall. <laughs> no, oh. there's only five foot one of me, but my personality is large, D. Oh, no. Right, oh. D. I'm like, you know, I try to, I try to be taller than I am. Oh, wait, wait a second. Oh, oh, my word. I like those I'm boots. Really right. Those yeah. are not. Oh, okay. All right, I might need her boots. Um, but it's so much fun here. It's a great experience for people uh, to have that, like, you know, those connections. And a lot of times people come year after year. It's like a family reunion for oh, some yeah. people. They're, they supposedly, every year, yesterday there was a fire alarm, okay. and everyone got cleared out, and they were all laughing out there, not even upset. They said, oh, yeah, once somebody said, oh, this happens all the time. There's always, like, I was like, oh, it's part of, like, the convention yeah. thing was... It's not a convention unless the fire alarm goes fire off. Fire alarm being pulled and everyone going out, and which was really funny. I mean, no one was even angry. They were like, "Oh, well, yeah, just get some fresh air." And I like all your accolades too. It says a uh, Sybil, Seinfeld, Friends, Dream On, Vamp, House Three, The Horror Show, Into the Night, Frankie and Johnny, Supernatural, Up Close and Personal, Burn Notice, The All Nighter, Red Surf, and Midnight Hour. Plus, you have your own show now. Yes, and then um, Big Sky, right? I didn't mention Big Sky. Oh, okay, the Big Sky's not on. Okay, we're gonna go get a Sharpie. Oh, is it? Oh no, it's oh I see, and falling down. It's, it's actually the first big thing in print. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I'm allowed to say it. You said it. I didn't say it. Okay, I didn't say it. I didn't say anything. I said wig but pie. I what'd you wig, say? Wig. Uh -huh. Oh, wig pie. Wig pie. That's what we say. That's what you say. Sounds like it. Understood. But yes. I'm on my own talk, a podcast called yes. Down with Dee Dee, which. Donna was on as well, and um, it's just a half an hour shout out. 
where you talk 15 minutes about a social welfare issue that's important to my guest. Um, me, I'm recovering out loud, but some it's mental health. My sister Michelle, she's got a 100% a transparent perfume, Henry Rose. Um, and then we talk 10 minutes on the paranormal, supernatural. I ask my guests if they believe yes or no and why. And then I end the, the um, 30 minutes with a quick question. What animal would you like to be reincarnated as and why? And I said a bird. Yes, she did. And you know, you get to really know somebody by like that answer and the why. I got, was very surprised by a lot of people. I've known for years had him on the show and I'm like really I would never have thought that so it's really fun each episode is very different it's very hard to put my podcast in a category good luck with that it's it, it's, it's unique it's it's, like it's a unique. unicorn category just like Didi a unicorn category it's all to itself um, so if you found enjoyment out of our silliness and our friendship that's kind of what her show's about it's all about friendship and loving one another and being a good good to each other right yeah. sisterhood of goodness so all right thanks for watching stay tuned we're bringing you to chiller theater and it's all happening here next year you'll have to be here right yep. i'll be here are you gonna be here oh yeah all right sure. there you go take care bye guys bye